Let's imagine for a second that SpaceX builds a rocket. And this specific rocket, they build everything that they usually build in a rocket. The thrusters, the gimbal thrusters, the hull, the cockpit, all the, the whole nine yards. The one thing that they leave out is the sensors. Now, if you know anything about rockets, they have a minimum, a bare bones minimum of a hundred sensors in a rocket up to thousands of sensors for varying different things, gimbals, um, ways to stay on course, course correction, literally everything. Rockets have hundreds, if not thousands of sensors. Let's say that, that SpaceX decides to build a rocket without sensors. What happens to the rocket? What happens to the rocket? The rocket launches, and if it continues straight, definitely not going to land. If it goes straight, it's definitely not going to get to its destination because it has no course correction. The high percent chance that it doesn't go straight, it'll veer left, it'll veer right, it'll veer, veer back into the earth and crash and burn. It'll basically turn into a nuclear missile full of rocket fuel and blow up a city. Sensors and the ability to course correct are why rockets work in the first place. That's why we can send satellites into space. It's why we can fly in planes. It's why we can buy our own little planes and fly them around. It's not just human error. It's not just human skill that allows us to fly rockets and planes. It's sensors, right? It's the ability that the aircraft has to course correct, make a million tiny compu uh, computations, calculations every single second to ensure the safety of its passengers and to ensure that it's on course for its destination so that it can fulfill what it was created to do. Now, let's look at a person's life, okay? If you look at most people, most people have built their life like a rocket without sensors. What I mean by that is this. When people wake up each day, they start reacting to things. They react to the news, they grab their phone, they respond to emails, they respond to texts, they, they, their attention is skewed in multiple different ways if they even have time to do those things, okay? When I say most people, the other half of the people are waking up late because they slept in, everything's rushed, they're eating crap food, they're not able to do anything productive until they get to work and when they get to work they're tired they're lazy they slept in they didn't get anything done they're overweight they feel like shit and they can't produce results and that's why people get fired and turn to depression and turn to drugs and alcohol to numb their pain and get divorced and that's why so many people are in the negative place in life that they're in the reason why this happens is because they've built a life with no sensors with no way to course correct, no way to keep them on track for their greater purpose, no way to ensure that they live out what they are meant to do, like a rocket. Now, there's a series of sensors. There's a whole host of sensors. There's a whole host of course correction strategies that a person can use to stay on track to reach their goals, whether they be business goals, career goals, relationship goals, familial goals, goals as a provider, goals as a husband, as a parent, you name it. But the fact of the matter is, is that most people don't use them. And because most people don't use them, most people live average to below average lives. A person's ability to create their dreams and create the life that they've always wanted to create from a financial, physical, spiritual, mindset, and familial perspective all comes down to their ability to be able to course correct on a monthly, weekly, daily, hourly, and minutia level so they can stay on track. If a person doesn't course correct, they're gonna be like the rocket, flying all over the goddamn place, crashing into the earth, turning into a nuke. Maybe it gets to its destination and then blows up. Maybe it gets to its destination and then falls back to earth, crash and burns. 
Maybe the person gets every single thing that they've ever wanted, all the money, the fame, the status, and in doing so, they wreck their family. Maybe in doing so, they, 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 they wreck their body. Or maybe a person gets in amazing shape and because they've been so focused on the gym, they neglect their family and they spend all their money on the club. Right, like, people don't have sensors in place. People don't course correct. And so what I wanna do with this video is I wanna share with you how I course correct, how I keep my mind, my thoughts, my actions, my core values, my appearance, my thinking patterns, my family, my finances, my spirituality, and everything in complete check. It's the same strategy I use with all my clients. It's the same strategy that my clients use with their employees. And it's the same strategy that you can use and implement today that will systematically make everything that you're doing in your life easier to achieve, more efficient, and easier to accomplish overall. Now, before I get into it, just have a little, little drink. It's not alcohol, by the way. It's the middle of the week. Come on, I'm not drinking alcohol. 2 p.m. I'm smoking a cigar, though. It's a nice cigar. Before I get into it, I wanna bring something up with you that I've brought up many times. And it's like the backbone of why my clients get amazing results. It's the, it's the reason why I live in this house. It's the reason why I've been able to do anything with my life coming from where I came from as a alcoholic, cocaine using freaking degenerate to the point that I am now. And what it comes down to is having a routine, but not any routine a specific morning routine that grants the person with clarity on their goals, on their visions, on their core values, where they're going, how they want to act, how they want to think, how they want to speak, how they want to appear, what, what kind of status they have, what kind of parent they have, what kind of husband they are or wife. Clarity, but more important than just clarity on the highest self. Alignment, alignment. Because like I said, without the ability to course correct, a person can't make the right decisions. And if a person can't make the right decisions, they can't get the results that they desire in any area, okay? So when we think about being able to course correct, when we think about making the right decisions, the precursor to that is gaining clarity on the highest self, alignment with the highest self, and then acting as if you're your highest self now. And that can only be achieved through a specific morning routine. Now the morning routine that me and my clients use on a daily basis is very simple. It's only 30 minutes. It's designed to activate your brain and get you in a place to where you can win every single day. I've spoke about it before, but I wanna share it again because it's how you course correct. It's how you can make the right decisions every day. It's how we can do everything we just said and turn you into a rocket that goes from point A to point, to point B and then back to point A if it wants to or from point A to B to C to D to freaking X, Y, Z. That's how it works. In order to do this, we need a morning routine. Morning routine always starts off with activating your brain. When you first wake up in the morning, most people are too sleepy to do anything. You've got to activate your mind in a way that allows you to gain clarity on why you're awake. So I always recommend listening to something that motivates you first thing in the morning, whether that is a scripture or it's a motivational video or it's a podcast or it's learning something new, whatever it is, reading a book, 10 pages, whatever you want to do. Start with that, that's 10 to 15 minutes. Then what you do is I highly recommend creating a document an editable word document that has inside of it what your highest self looks like, what your what your visions for the next 10 years look like, what your non-negotiables are, what your beliefs are, what your power statements are, what your affirmations are, what your vision board looks like, things like that. If you create a document like this and commit to reading through it, editing it, updating it every single day, 
that's going to gain you clarity on who you want to be and how you want to live your life and, and what you want to achieve and where you're going. You're going to know, okay, I'm here in my stationary rocket and I'm looking to go there. Clarity. The third step, first step, activate your brain. Second step, gain clarity on who you want to be. Third step is to gain alignment with that person, with that place, with point B. Gaining alignment is way easier to do than people think, but it also takes practice, just like anything. If you want to get good at anything, you have to practice it. And what I recommend all my clients do and what I do every single day is I visualize living a day in that life. I visualize living that life. Not just snapshots of driving cool cars and living in a cool place and you know doing cool things and traveling around. That's just daydreaming. What I mean is actually live in that life. Close your eyes, focus on your breath, access a meditative state and visualize living a full day in that life. The more clear that you can get, the better. And by clear, I mean you should know in 10 years where your house is. You should know exactly which house it is, on which street, in which city, which state, which country. You should know exactly the proximity of that house to where you wanna work. You should know exactly the proximity of that house to the gym, if you go to the gym to any of the places that you go, that you frequent, the restaurants, whatever. You should literally use Google Earth to build yourself a figurative life like in The Sims and then live in that life in your brain every single morning. Because if you can do that and you can get really good at it, you're gonna start to trick your subconscious mind into believing that that life is real now. If you do that, your subconscious thought patterns, your subconscious beliefs and your subconscious actions are going to be in alignment with point B, not point A. See where I'm going with this? Not only are you instilling belief that that life is correct, that, or sorry, that that life is a reality, because it is, you're just not there yet. Not only are you just instilling belief, but you're also influencing your subconscious mind to make decisions, think, act, speak, live, as if you are already at point B. Rocket, launch, point B. That's how this works. If you do not learn to course correct your life, you will constantly self-sabotage. You will constantly fall into bouts of depression. You will constantly have anxiety. You'll never, have, you'll never be grateful for what you have. You'll always be stressed. You'll never be motivated. You'll go through ups and downs in your health and fitness. You'll gain 30 pounds and then lose it. And then you'll gain 40 and then you'll lose 20 and then you'll gain 80 and then you'll just be overweight. This is why people get stuck in life and not only stuck, go backwards. Okay. So if you want to be a rocket ship and if you're watching this video right now, chances are you want to be a rocket ship. If you want to be a rocket ship and you actually want that rocket ship to be sound, if you want it to take you to your destination, and live your purpose and truly do what you were meant to fucking do, you need to course correct yourself. So I would highly recommend rewatch this video again. <laughs> watch it twice, watch it three times, watch it 10 times, but figure out how to course correct. Implement a morning routine like that and commit to doing it for 365 days. The year that I commit to doing what I just told you to do, I took my income from 70K a year to $250,000 a year in one year. And the only thing that changed was that. I had the same business model, the same strategies, same level of knowledge. Only thing that changed is my ability to course correct, make the right decisions, take the right actions, think the right thoughts. Rocket launched. Launch your rocket.